Moon is so dark, I can't even Please see her. Shut up. Hey, what's up? Uh, so, I'm gonna vlog because I'm on vacation. And that's why I haven't been uploading videos for a few days. And yeah. So, I'm on 4th of July vacation. Uh, okay. It was okay. Well, this is day one. I just experienced day one yesterday. Because it's um, July 5th now. But I say it was okay. First of all, this hotel we're at is super freaking crowded. And that makes it very bad. But my cousins are here and they make it fun. Like, I love being with my cousins. They're so fun. We went swimming and uh, we got on this big slide and we were sliding down it. And my cousin was screaming down it on purpose. And it was funny. Everybody was laughing. But, um, and so we were in the pool, we were swimming, and we were playing Marco Polo, and it was like a big pool, there was like a whole bunch of people in the pool, so we were playing Marco Polo in the middle of the pool, so I was being a D-bag <laughs> and leading all of my cousins into people, so I was all like, Polo, 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 while my cousin was, uh, one of my cousins were, um, one of my cousins were being Marco, so I was all like, polo, polo, polo. And I was right next to a group of girls, right? And our my cousins are like the same age as me. And he, I was saying polo, and he was coming close to me. And I was behind the group of girls. And they were laughing at me because they knew that I was trying to make him go, in, make him go into them. So he runs right into the girl, and I don't know where he touched. He said he didn't know either. He grabbed, and then he's all like, oh, 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 I'm so sorry. And the girls were just laughing at him. But he, me and him don't know where he touched. But he said it was firm, though. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. So that was fun. That's something I liked about the weekend. And then back to the hotel and crowd. Um, so we were, since it's the 4th of July, we were looking for somewhere to, uh, um, somewhere to see fireworks. And we couldn't find any places to go see fireworks. So we just said, whatever, we're just going to stay at the hotel. So I didn't even get to see any fireworks at the 4th of July. So that's bull crap. And then what made it worse is our bed, because my mom had the big bed. My mom had the big bed. And me and my sister's bed we was in the couch. So we pulled it out, and it didn't even go all the way out. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And then the bed didn't even go all the way out. Like, it was, it, there was like a hump in the middle of the bed. So, that made me and my sister mad. We had to sleep on it and it hurt our back. So, now it's a new day and I hope it goes better. We're going to go see some movies and stuff. I like it. So, peace yeah. out. See you in a minute. Doing the first Fast and the Furious. The whole thing. The whole thing is based off of racing. Everybody knows about racing. About racing. They did some criminal acts in it. It was still racing. But they still did criminal stuff. Okay. They okay. Were doing now they're racing. Now they're highly street racing, racing is illegal. They just got party. The street street they racing, were racing in is pride. illegal. They but were racing that in does pride. not make them international you criminals. Running? They were international. Right? Yes. No. Street exactly. Racing. They were international criminals. Street racing criminals makes them criminals. international criminals. They were international criminals because they was messing with the cartel and stuff like that. Exactly. Okay. So that leads up to, to six to, to what it's going to. That's so. Because they were messing with cartels, so they tried to get out of it. 
Yeah, they so you start, take everything you that you're based off of, everything that you based your first movie off of, and then just throw it to the, throw it. No, no the they had one. They had. No, they still had a street out race. The one race. No, they got the one race. You just pick up the stuff that that people like, just you know, just so you can sell money. No, so but still, a lot of it's one that. race. You know, you do that. Perfect example. But, Little Wayne. So you can make money. He was, he's a rapper. No, I knew him for. You wouldn't do that so you can make money if you make. If you made twenty million dollars, it's principle. It's principle. If I if I start up something and it's like it's good to me, and if it makes money in the beginning, I'm gonna keep that. When it starts losing money, so you're gonna if it starts losing money, I'm going I'm gonna change it up a little bit, but I'm gonna keep it exactly. They still had a race, so it counts as a racing movie. So what? No, it's, it's still a street yeah, racing movie because they had a street race. It, it, if it's not losing money, I'm gonna That's in. Money, that's, in. that's done. That's how it is. When it starts to lose money, that's when you quit. You yep. quit when you're ahead. That's, that's, no, yep. when you stop that's making done. movies. That's that's when you stop done. making movies. That's you when sign a contract. You have to sign a contract. They didn't sign no contract to make no seven movies. Yes, they did. No, how do you know? How do you know? Because it would have stopped if they would have stopped. No, okay. It would have stopped if they were smart. Okay, man. No. Maybe they called them up and was like, hey, we're, and this we're is Mad 7, you want to do it again? They would have been like, oh yeah, I love it, let's go. That's not a contract. No, but still. Okay, since that was before Tokyo Drift anyway, that's before they came street racers in the first place. They would have had to make another They might have had to make another It's possible. It's hey, good. what's up? Uh, I just saw Fast and Furious 6. That was a great movie, I'm serious. That movie was amazing. I loved all the, I, I'm a sucker for explosions and fighting, and that's exactly what it had, so I'm happy. Like, action movies, that's what it's supposed to have, explosions and fighting. And that's what Fast and Furious had. I think it was a classic action movie. I think I would, def I would definitely watch it again. Oh, uh, there's a lot of things. Fast and Furious was great. And I just like how at the end it showed the preview for Fast and Furious 7. And oh my goodness, I cannot wait for Fast and Furious 7. It was amazing. But that's all I did. So we're going to go to the pool in a bit. So see you then. And I'll tell you how it went. Bye. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Uh, Fast and Furious actually, it something funny about it. What are you doing, Hello. <laughs> dude? I'm vlogging. You're vlogging. Vlogging. Vlogging, you mean? Vlog. What is a vlog? A video blog. Vlogging anyway. Okay. Can you leave? No. Why? Because I'm a nigga. Oh my god! But as you can see in the b before I started talking about it, <laughs> me and um, my cousins were fighting about how Fast and Furious Six w was good, and we were fighting about how Fast and Furious Seven is also going to be good. They me said it was going to be bad. So. Me and this guy over here. Yeah thinks it's going to be a very good movie, but <laughs> my other cousins don't think it is, but we'll Because they're black. We're both black. But they're blacker. <laughs> but we'll see what it is when we see it, so peace out. Hey everybody, what's up? I just wanted to introduce you to my I sister. Don't think that, uh, no one cares! <laughs>
Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's Dijon, it gotta be. Yep. I told you that's Dijon. <laughs> No, that's Dion. That's Kuda. No, that's this. What's up? As you can see in the last video, uh, well, or whatever video I just put, we just went swimming. And uh, it was very fun, very, very fun. It, like, brightened up this trip a lot more. Because, like, there's only a few bad things, and most of the bad things are just with the hotel and stuff, how the management is. And, but... It was fun. The swimming. Okay, so swimming. We went to the pool and we got. There's a big slide. So we got on the slide. Easy peasy. Usually, what me and my cousins do when we get on the slide, we scream a lot. As you can see in the last video, we just scream a whole bunch to mess with people. And what I liked about the pool people is they were, like, really cool. Like, nobody was really mean or, like, Hey, you kids, get off my lawn. Like, you know, like an old mean guy. But So I'm happy for that. And then we got in the pool, and me and my cousins and my sister started playing Marco Polo. So we were playing Marco Polo, and I led my cousin over to a group of girls again. Well, not a group of girls, just two girls. And they were, like, a little younger than our, me and my cousins, but, like, my sisters. Like, a little older than my sister, so. And the, they wanted to play, too, after I led my cousin into them. So, we started playing Marco Polo, and then I tried, because there was a very outgoing one and then a very shy one. So, then... Um, then, uh, what am I saying? I'm just a little tired because we just swam. So then, the outgoing one was playing around a lot. So then I tried to make the shy one get caught. And she's all like, no, no, I'm not good at this game. And it was very funny. Like, she, she didn't want to get caught, but I got her caught. So she was trying, I was like telling her that she, I was like standing right in front of her while we were playing Marco Polo and saying, you can't touch this, you can't touch this. And she was trying to get me, but I can swim pretty fast without um, moving my arms because of my legs. 
and she couldn't get me and it was just really funny and we were doing a lot of things in Marco Polo like I was messy with a lot of people oh a lot more people joined too like after they joined another group of people joined and then another group of kids joined it was very fun because I was just messing with the kids because I was getting really close to them and not saying polo when they said Marco and I was like walking right next to them and like doing scary faces like Argh. making other people laugh and it was fun it was really fun and so once we as you saw in the last video when we got on top of the um, got on, we went to the slide again with some of the kids and and the girls the girls like we were with us the whole time so we went to the slide with some of the kids and the girls uh, and the mo the outgoing girl oh by the way when I was messing with the shy girl she got mad at me but it, it wasn't like real mad it was like playful mad so I'm still happy and um, but once we got on top of the slide everybody was slapping each other's backs one of my cousins slapped another cousin's back and it like sounded like it hurt and then the most outgoing girl slapped my back and I'm like ah oh if I could hit you back because she was a girl so but then I got one of my cousins really good but he didn't slap me so but then he got me back good and it hurt so so I shouldn't have done that. And then once we went down the waterfall, we um we started sliding at each other's back again. And the outgoing girl got me again, and it hurt so bad. But I didn't I didn't do that. And then I got one of my cousins really good. I liked that. Well, pie. It was good. It was like the perfect slap on the back. Like, it's stung and everything. But, yeah, that was swimming. Oh, and then we did chicken fights. The shy girl didn't want to do the chicken fight, though, because she's shy. But the outgoing was with one of my cousins and then me and another cousin paired up. We were fighting the outgoing girl and my cousin, and we won every time. But it was, it was still fun. And then... If if you saw footage of me, I pushed my sisters in my sister in the water and said no one cares, and I did that about four times throughout the day, excluding that time, and I was I just walked up to random people and said hey would you like to meet my sister and they're all like Shh, okay and I'm all like no one cares, and me and Nene did that a few times throughout the pool. And yeah, that's mostly how our swimming day went, and I'm happy with um the I'm happy with the vacation. I really liked it. So, and I'm going home tomorrow and tell you how my night was spent. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you in just a second. Okay. Hey, what's up? I'm back home. From my two day trip inside inside the state and it, I say on a scale of 1 to 10 it was a 7 cause the good outweighed the bad but there was some bad parts I just didn't like how the bed was cause the belt had a hump in it and I didn't like that they misplaced our um, my cousins cause we requested them to be next to us but they put them all the way on like the other side of the hotel so that made me mad and when we got to the hotel they put a whole bunch of crap in the refrigerator that cost, that's way overpriced trying to get us to eat it and drink it so we have to pay the price and that made me mad so that that's mostly all that was bad this the hotel is bad. Everything else was good. Like the view was nice. The pool was nice. We went to movies. It was fun being over there. Like 
I liked it. So, but I'm happy to be home. Because it's fun being home and a lot of stuff. And I just like being home. I'm, I'm a guy who likes to be home. But it was a fun vacation. Good. But now I have to go and start editing more videos for y'all. I'm probably going to go and start editing this video right now. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my vlogging. And thanks for watching. Peace, Izzles, my Nizzles.